Hey guys, welcome to Cryptocurrency in Japan. In this video, I talk about what is going on in Japanese cryptocurrency communities. So um, it's been a long time since I updated my video last time, but um, today something happened in Japan, so I wanted to talk about it. It seems like there is something wrong with CoinCheck. Long story short, it seems like this big exchange was hacked and they lost more than 500 million NEM. Which is uh, which was like more than four hundred million US dollars. So um, about CoinCheck, um, it's really big and popular exchange. That's uh, that is like one of the biggest Japanese exchange. Their app is like really um, cool, easy to use, so it attracted a lot of new users recently. They have a lot of altcoins listed on their exchange. So um, yeah, it's very very popular. They they do advertisement on TV recently using like very very popular comedian. Also, they they did like advertisement in middle of Roppongi. Um, in terms of re regulation, CoinCheck is not registered uh, as a uh, regulated exchange. So all the exchanges have to be registered and um, it's regulated. It's regulated by FSA, which stands for Financial Services Agency, but they are allowed to operate their business because they have been running their business before the new law was executed. So until FSA says um, yes or no to coin check, they are they are okay to um, run their exchange. So um, in a way, it's like um, they're still under investigation and like you know, meeting requirement from FSA. So that is a, a that that is coin check. So um, I want to recap what happened today. They they've been giving updates on their blog, and what happened is at twelve o'clock, you know, Friday lunchtime, coin check announced that they're stopping NEM deposit. Even if you send NEM to your account it's not going balance is not going to be re be reflected on their on the exchange platform just in case if you're not familiar with what nem is it stands for new economy movement it's one of the altcoins the name is name of the platform and the native token the cryptocurrency is called zem which is like xem but it's easier to say nem so i'm just going to call it nem here in this video 1238 um, they also said that they are disabling buy and selling of them. 12.52, they just add more things on their blog. That um, announcement goes like, um, we are also temporarily stopping them withdrawal. At this point, you can tell like, hmm, there is something going, you know, something wrong with them at CoinCheck. You know, what, what is going on? Uh, so like people were talking about it on Twitter. I could see them. I, I I saw them, but I didn't think that is like this serious. But um, you know, after three o'clock, four o'clock, like people are just more, you know, more and more people are talking about it. So I was like, uh oh. At four thirty-three, uh, they stopped withdrawal of all currencies, including Japanese yen and other cryptocurrencies. Uh, Five twenty-three. They they say like we're temporarily stopping all altcoin trading and 650 they were like we're stopping deposit from convenience stores and some other um, the payment processors. So uh, you you can see that it, on their blog it's in English as well. So um, what do we see? So CoinCheck is not making any official statement yet regarding this issue. They they've been only saying that they will make announcement when they. You know, sort things out, and then um, they're supposed to do press conference at um, eleven thirty at night, which is very soon. Yeah, by the time you see my video, press conference should be over or uh, during the press conference. Anyways, um, we can see on the NEM blockchain that NEM has been sent to some other address. It's um, according I saw um, news and. Uh, it's 526 million NEM and like you know uh, around three o'clock people people are just saying um maybe CoinCheck is trying to save some of the NEM so they were sending to sending to other address but um NEM Foundation is saying that CoinCheck was has been hacked according to CryptoNews.com um the statement 
by uh, Long Wong, president of NEM.io Foundation, is saying, as far as NEM is concerned, tech is intact. We're, we're not forking, so um, they're not going to roll back. Um, also, uh, also, we would advise all exchanges to make use of multi-signature smart contract, which is among the best in the landscape. Coincheck did not use them. The, Coincheck did not use them, and that's why the well, that's why they could have been hacked. They were very relaxed with their security measures. Okay, Mr. Long Wong says uh, on Twitter, it, it's unfortunate that Coincheck got hacked, but uh, we, uh, but we are doing everything we can to help. So, yeah, they were hacked. It's very uncomfortable. I, it, you know, I've been like checking Twitter and people are saying like a lot of things. Um, you know, obviously people who who had their uh, asset on their platform, like. Uh, in in the coin check they're really 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 concerned um oh so also there is a rumor that uh the hacker said there he's going to give back nem if coin check improved their security system on telegram but um it seems like that guy was not actually a hacker so uh what now People very uh, so people a lot of people are talking about okay what happened if Coincheck becomes like Mount Gox, um, you know do they get money back if you have like you know even if you're not trading them, Coincheck lost like four hundred more than four hundred million dollars worth of uh, asset that 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 is a lot of money that's a lot bigger than Mount Gox too. So uh, you know what is gonna ha uh, what what is gonna happen, and you know if you made a lot of money last year and you still have all your money on coin check, how are you gonna pay tax? Is another thing people people are concerned about. Like, can can coin check keep operating their business, or uh, will they sell the business to someone else? Like they're gonna find someone over the weekend and make announcement or something. Like that. There's like a lot of peop uh, a lot of things like people are talking about. Personally, I want to wait until coin checks actually make official announcement. And it's Friday night in Japan. It's almost like eleven thirty. Yeah, it, it's it, it's almost eleven thirty now. So um. Uh, they have weekends to you know think about they they're gonna have press conference but um yeah okay so just to be clear this is not um problem with them obviously it, the problem is with coin check security measures um I think new information is going to be coming very soon so if there is something new I'll, I will update this video so um I hope everything is going to be okay. So um, Coincheck pre uh, press conference just ended. I was watching it live on internet. During the press conference, Coincheck confirmed that 523 million NEM were stolen, which was uh, 58 billion Japanese yen, which is a lot of money. Um, Coincheck was keeping NEM in a hot wallet, not cold wallet, and there, it was not multi-sig, so in terms of security, that was, um, that was not strong enough, obviously, but, um, but still, the, the, the bad guy is the one who stole the money, um, my, obviously, Coincheck could have done better, but, um, you know, they cannot take back and NEM is apparently um, NEM is saying that they're not gonna roll back and hot fork so um, they have to think about what they're gonna do um, yes so there were a lot of questions during the co press conference like many journalists didn't know in uh, didn't have enough knowledge of um, cryptocurrency so I, I think like those guys just learned the word multi-sig like three hours ago and they were asking questions about it like hey what once you're doing a multi-sig in the worst case scenario some people might lose their money um coin check all, all they say is they're thinking about their customer first and a lot of things are going you know, have to be discussed so um yeah that's all the information we have i'm i want to look up 
I, I took notes, but a lot, a lot of questions are like really, really, like it doesn't worth um, mentioning. And Coincheck does use Cold Wallet for Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't know about the other currency. They, they, they list like a Monero and Ripple and all the other ones. I, I don't, I don't think I remember hearing anything um, about it. Um, ah, and the the name that has been lost is like almost all of the name they had so um it's you know all gone mm, yeah so i i think we we just have to wait for um another announcement from coincheck probably on monday yeah and then coincheck also confirmed that um then foundation said no for hard fork. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I will upload different videos like sometime soon. So bye.